A very warm welcome to Design Thinking and Innovation, uh, a course on the SWAM platform. Uh, we are in week 9, you know just past the midway mark, you know after the 8th week. Okay, so, uh, this is a very exciting time. See, we will just recapitulate what we did in the first 8 weeks. We started with introduction, uh, after that we did secondary research followed by primary research, uh, then we did you know analysis part 1, analysis part 2 and if you can just recollect you know the information that you collected through secondary and primary research, through analysis and observations you got inferences, out of the inferences you did some recommendations ok, based on that there were a lot of opportunities for design that you had identified ok. And on this basis we actually came out with a restatement of the original problem. So, you have the original topic, you have done a restatement of this, now it is a great time. Week 9 is the most exciting part of the whole course, because this is where you will come out with many ideas. You know now, you know what the problem is. Uh, you need to find different solutions to solve the problem. Okay, so, let us have a look at it. This is section A 9, week 9. So, again we will start with the quote, uh, this is by Dashrath Patel, a very famous artist, designer, a ceramist, you know who practiced in India. Uh, his quote he says that if you can dream it, you can make it happen. Uh, that is a great starting point for this particular chapter. So, let us look at the course in week 9. So, we have the process of how to start ideating and we will look at different methods of generating creative ideas, innovative creative ideas. Okay, and for this we will make use of tools. In this section, uh, part 1 of the ideation section, we will look at brainstorming, uh, idea sketching, scamper and lateral thinking, more on that much later. And then we use it in the project to generate creative concepts. Now, this is with respect to the topic that you have chosen and you need to sketch these or visualize these. And we look at a very interesting case study of uh, creating lights with a new technology. So, let us look at the design process. Uh, this is ideation part 1. Let us have a look at the design process with respect to ideation. This is part 1 of it. Let us look at the contents. We start with asking the question what is ideation and what is creative ideation and what are the different types of creativity and why is it important followed by further studies and references. So, let us begin with the design process. Ideation is the third phase of the design thinking and innovation process and if you recollect uh, research was the first phase, analysis was the second phase, ideation is the third phase, uh, where you will apply your creativity, you will explore alternatives, you will experiment with concepts and you will be innovative. Ideation helps you to think of alternative creative concepts for you to, I mean uh, with respect to the design statement that you have come out with. Let us summarize. So, again putting it together you can see that uh, research makes you diverge, analysis makes you converge and ideation phase again you need to diverge, because you need to think of as many alternate ideas as possible. And then you will take forward one or two of them and test it and then reiterate it and then finally implement it. 
So, let us look at what is ideation, what is creative ideation and what is creativity. So, basically ideation involves finding many alternate ideas to be identified with respect to the problem statement and the ideas need to be new and unique. It is not the same in a new you know clothing, but it is actually a new one that you need to think of and it has to be also unique. Okay. So, it requires a lot of thinking and finding alternatives and we have many methods for doing this. It is also one of the most exciting phases of the design process as it involves generating interesting ideas and you would be surprised how creative each one of us is. Ideation involves making use of di different tools you know. So, we will make use of brainstorming which you already kind of know idea sketching and other creativity techniques. So, let us look at uh, the difference between ideation and creative ideation. Creative ideation involves finding several alternate creative concepts to the identified problem statement. Okay. Uh, the, uh, the word creative is very, very important. Creative means it is unique, it is unusual, it could be innovative. Yeah, so, something which is not done before or not normally thought of before. So, creative ideation will involve creativity and being creative involves thinking of unique and new ideas. So, let us look at what is creativity itself. Uh, it is defined as the ability to create uh, the quality of being creative. Okay. So, uh, it means that you need to find unique, unusual. Uh, solutions. Let us have a look at perspectives on creativity. Okay. The first method we will call it as brainstorming and we already mentioned it is uh, Osborn who actually thought of this term. It is using the brain to storm a creative problem okay. and uh, yeah, some of the set rules are do not criticize, generate as many ideas as possible, let the ideas be as unusual, even it does not make sense, it does not matter uh, for the sake of ideas, it is better to have unusual unique solutions and you can combine and improve these ideas in the long run. Okay. So, these are the simple rules for creative brainstorming. So, the next word is divergent thinking. That means that it is a thinking which is not the same, you know you kind of you know you got paths to take and you do not mind taking a path which is not explored, which is different, maybe it is there surprising things at the end of the road. Okay. So, again uh, Joy Paul Guilford was the one who thought of divergent thinking. Divergent thinking is a non-linear mode of creative thinking that helps you to come out with several unique ideas in solving a problem. Uh, it is characterized by flexibility, originality and fluency. Yeah, so, these are the three characteristics of divergent thinking. Let us look at an interesting you know combination of letters. Uh, you can call it a scam or scamper, it is easy to remember, but each of these letters stand for something else. Okay. It is an acronym for seven creativity techniques suggested by Bob Aberley. Okay. And he thought of it as a very interesting method, uh, because if you use this method, you actually end up with many alternate solutions. So, the first letter S stands for substitute, that means that if you have an idea, try to substitute with another idea. Uh, C is for combining, combine that idea with another idea. A is for adopt, adopt with something else you know and maybe you can change parts of it. Uh, M is for modify, so it means change something in the idea that you have. P is put to another use, find another use for what you are trying to do. E is eliminate things that probably are not so important and R is total reverse inverse or change the direction of it itself. Okay. So, very simple it is scamper uh, made out of seven letters each one standing for 
uh, different ways of finding creative solutions. Let us go through it. Substitute, C for combine, A for adopt, M for modify, P for put to another use, E for elimination and R for reversing. Lateral thinking, okay, again taught by Edward D. Bono. He coined the word lateral thinking as a new way of creative thinking. Uh, he defined lateral thinking as against vertical thinking. We normally you know think of an idea and we try to make the idea better, faster, whatever it is you know and you never think of going out somewhere and you know thinking that maybe the actual solution is not here, but you need to think out of the box go somewhere else laterally and then find a solution. And he also truly believed that creativity can be learned and we are all born creative, we kind of lose it when we go through uh, systematic uh, means of education, but you can actually regain it. And he very much popularized creative thinking uh, with over 80 books and uh, which are translated in many languages. Okay, so, Edward D. Bono, his books are very easy and you know interesting to read. So, please uh, you know take one of his books and uh, read through them. Yeah, so, why is it so much important okay, in the context of innovation? So, it plays a very important role in the process of finding a solution to a problem by suggesting many possible ways to solve the problem. See, it is like this, if you have once solution maybe it has solved the problem, but you know leave it aside and I say that no I want to come out with another solution maybe that is better than what it is and probably another solution which is better than the both of them. You go on and on like that you will actually end up with many solutions and then you can do a prioritization and see which one of them is better or maybe you can combine. Uh, features of uh, two or three of them and then come out with the most appropriate one which can be taken up for further development. So, important thing is do not be satisfied with just one idea, try to create several ideas. So, what does it involve? So, we have four techniques that we will look at it uh, in this particular part. Okay, start with brainstorming, then whatever you come out with you sketch it out through idea sketching we call it, it is basically visualizing that particular idea. Uh, then you use some creativity methods to find out several alternative ideas. Okay, so, let us look at the further study and references. Uh, the first is of course, the DSOS uh, slash DTI and the resources which within the DSOS uh, web space. Uh, I have also put uh, Art of Creation, a very important book by Arthur Kessler, very nice to read. Uh, of course, Lateral Thinking by Edward D. Bono. Please read, uh, you know, if you can get both of them, nothing like it. Okay, and uh, Edward D. Bono's books as I mentioned are very easy to read, enjoyable to read. Okay, and uh, we also have uh, creativity, the psychology of discovery and invention. Okay, again, a very classic book on this. Okay, so let's end with a quote from Albert Einstein: "Creativity is intelligence having fun." Okay, so that's why I said ideation is a is a very enjoyable and exciting part of the design process. So, that is section A 9, uh, week 9. Thanks for listening. Let us just summarize it. Uh, we looked at what is ideation, how to generate ideas which are creative. We are going to look at tools, brainstorming, idea sketching, scamper and lateral, lateral thinking in lot more detail. And then project, we will apply these and then have a look at an interesting case study, uh, which uses a lot of these creative techniques.